We are now in the time of counting the days between the Feast of First Fruits and the Feast of Pentecost. But when do you start counting? Well, in the Bible, the New Year starts in the spring, based on the new moon and the barley. Back in Egypt, before Passover, which is in the first month of the year, it says that the barley was in the ear. So, we begin the year on the new moon at the time when the barley is in the ear. Then on the 14th of the month is Passover. Then the Feast of Unleavened Bread on the 15th through the 21st. And when all the males come up to appear before God for the Feast of Unleavened Bread from all over Israel, they're supposed to bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest for the Feast of First Fruits. And for a First Fruits offering, it's supposed to be green ears of corn dried by the fire. So the new year and the feasts all depend on the barley being in the ear, but still green. Also notice that all the feasts listed in Leviticus 23 are on specific dates, except the Feast of First Fruits and the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost. Look at Passover. Passover is on the 14th of the first month, but it could be on any day of the week depending on the year. But for the Feast of First Fruits, no date is given. All we know is that it's on the morrow after the Sabbath. But now we have a problem. Is that Sabbath the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which the Old Testament calls a holy convocation, and the New Testament calls a Sabbath and a high day? Or is it the regular weekly Sabbath? Let's take this year as an example. This year, Passover, the 14th day of the first month, was on Sunday, April 21st, and the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the 15th day of the first month, was Monday, April 22nd. So if we start counting on the morrow after the Sabbath of the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, we should start counting on Tuesday, April 23rd. But wait, for this count, the Bible says in Leviticus 23, 15-16, And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number fifty days. So, we need to count seven Sabbaths and fifty days. Let's see where that takes us this year. And remember as we count that the first day of unleavened bread and the seventh day of unleavened bread are Sabbaths as well. So we're starting on Tuesday, April 23rd, Nisan 16, the morrow after the Sabbath of the first day of unleavened bread. Here's the first Sabbath. Oh, and we gotta count the Sabbath of the seventh day of unleavened bread. So there's the second Sabbath. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Here's the seventh Sabbath, but we only have 41 days. Okay, well, maybe we weren't supposed to count the seventh day of unleavened bread as one of those Sabbaths. So let's count one more weekly Sabbath. Oh, wait, now we only have 48 days. Hmm. Well, let's keep counting up to 50 days and see where that takes us. Here's the 50th day, which would be Pentecost, but we ended up not on the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, like it says to in Leviticus 23.16. Hmm. Okay, let's start over. Let's start with the Feast of First Fruits on the morrow after the weekly Sabbath during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So this year, that's April 28th, Nisan 21. Now let's count seven Sabbaths, even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, which would be 50 days. Here's the first Sabbath, here's the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh Sabbath, and the morrow after is 50 days. We got it right. So if we count this way, the Feast of First Fruits, which is on the morrow after the Sabbath, will always be on Sunday, we'll always count seven weekly Sabbaths, and Pentecost will always be on the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, again on Sunday. 50 days after first fruits, but the date of both first fruits and Pentecost will be different every year. Which is fine because the Bible doesn't give a date for the Feast of First Fruits or the Feast of Weeks, Pentecost. But if we count the way we did at first, the Feast of First Fruits will always be on Nisan 16, and Pentecost will always be on Sivan 6th, when the Bible doesn't give a date for either feast day, and you'll end up with seven Sabbaths but not enough days, or have 50 days but not end up on the morrow after a Sabbath all of which does not fit with how the Bible says to count to the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost. So let's count the way the Bible says to. The morrow after the Sabbath, count seven Sabbaths, to the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, to the fiftieth day called Pentecost, which this year ends up on Sunday, June 16th, 2024.